Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be looking at a very popular belt uh, known as Verdungo's Hardy Coil. Now Verdungo's Hardy Coil gives a pretty massive bonus to, uh, to life and I think that's one of its most redeeming properties. And it also gives uh, a pretty decent bonus to other things as well and we're going to go over those. Um, but right now let's talk about um, the bonus to life. So the bonus to life actually does not work with battle orders. Um, I don't know why specifically it doesn't work with battle orders, but as you can see right now, I have 523 health. And if I put on the belt, um, actually, let me uh, let me take off some of these set pieces so that I'm not rocking uh, multiple uh, set bonuses here. So if I take off the belt, I'm rocking 373. And when I put on the belt, I go to 533. And if I use my battle orders here, you will see that I go up in health to 867. But the exact amount of health that uh, Verdungo's gives me is removed when I remove it. It actually doesn't gain a bonus for uh, battle orders. I'm not exactly sure why they decided to do it this way. But uh, but battle orders um, and Druid's shape-shifting forms do not increase the bonus that you get from Verdungo's. Which is, uh, which is very interesting. Uh, now, Verdungo's does have some other interesting things besides the bonus to HP, and uh, we're going to go over those. So uh, let's start at the beginning, right? So we had 158 defense, which uh, which is the highest defense that Verdungo's can roll. I believe it uh, rolls as low as 125. Uh, we also have 10, a 106 strength requirement on this, which is not bad at all. Uh, level 63 requirement, which is relatively low, and which means you could use this on a lot of characters um, at a relatively low level. Uh, the alternative to this, honestly, is String of Ears. And String of Ears, I think, is only like level 29. So um, so you can use String of Ears until you get to this, and then you can you can rock this. Uh, we also have 140% enhanced defense on this thing, which does ran a roll between 90 to 440%, so a variance there of 50%. Uh, we also have 10% faster hit recovery, which, of course, is always very nice to have faster hit recovery. Um, it's not as good as the Blade Buckle, which I just recently did a video on, which is 30% faster at recovery. But this belt does have other redeeming characteristics. Uh, we also have 40 to Vitality, which does vary between 30 to 40. So you get uh, a variance of 10. And as you can see there with my life, I'm rocking, uh, what, 1,022 right now. And of course, uh, I, I, there's a bunch of various bonuses on IK. Hold on. There's, uh, there's too many bonuses on IK that are, that are uh, messing with my uh, vitality, and uh, and it's hard for me to give you guys an accurate number. So I've got 615, and when I put on the belt, I go to uh, 775, which is what? Uh, 115, so that's 100, and then we've got another, what, 60? So 160 is being added. Now, granted, the amount of uh, vitality... The amount of life that Vitality gives you is based on your character. So some characters have really good vi health per Vitality point, and some characters have really poor health by vi per Vitality point. Like Druids have very poor health uh, by Vitality point. So uh, you got to keep that in mind when you're thinking about this particular set of item. Uh, or rather, uh, Vitality in general on those characters. I can't use this yet. Oh, Lord. That's right, some ASMR for you there. Uh, we also have Replenish Life 13, which does vary from 10 to 13. And uh, and Replenish Life, honestly, is really nice to have because it just means your HP is just going to constantly be regenerating up. As you can see right now, I have none. So I'm at 335 and 1022, and I'm just not moving. If I put on the Verdungos, uh, you'll notice that my health just slowly starts ticking up. It may not be very fast, but my health is going to be always ticking upward. Uh, you know, and right now I'm, I'm what is that, like uh, one per second? That's like one, two, three. It's a little bit faster than one per second. So, uh, so just having Verdungos on with no other Replenish Life equipment, I'm getting a fairly nice regeneration rate. And, uh, and that's not bad. Now, Verdungo's also gives you uh, maximum stamina, which for some reason they put a roll on of 100 to 120. I don't even know why they did that. Usually by the time you hit level 63, you've got absolutely no issues with stamina whatsoever, and uh, and I wouldn't even really bat an eyelash at this. Um, now, the, the last mechanic on this belt, which is actually really, really sweet, is the damage reduced by mechanic. And damage reduced by is a... Um, 
basically a physical resistance. So it resists physical damage up to 50%, which is the cap. You can go over the cap, but it will not give you any additional benefit. Uh, however, if you were to go over the cap and you were cursed with something like Amplify Damage or Decrepify, which reduces your overall physical resistance, having a increase over the 50% will protect you against that. So for instance, if I was rocking, uh, say, 60% physical damage reduction, 10% of that would be wasted. However, when I get cursed, instead of going down to negative 50% uh, physical damage reduction, I would be going down to negative 40 instead, because that 10% over the cap will be protecting me against uh, the amplify damage by 10%, which is definitely nice. Now, to protect yourself completely from amplify damage, you would need like 150% uh, um, negative resistance, because then that would, uh, or, or positive physical damage reduction, because then the negative 100 would bring you down to 50%, uh, which is the cap. Now, Verdungo's Hardy Cord works its way into a lot of builds. Um, it is a rather generic belt in the in the terms that it just doesn't really have a lot of like very specific things. Like Razor Tail has piercing effect, which is very specifically for ranged characters. Um, you know, you got things that are uh, increased high mana regeneration, like Lenumo Sash, which are specifically for for ma mage characters. Um, you know, you've got mana steel items, which are specifically for for ranged and melee characters. Um, but this particular belt doesn't really have a lot of like specific identifiable mechanics that would li latch it to any specific class. You could utilize this on a sorceress, you could utilize this on an Amazon, you could utilize this on a barbarian, you could utilize it on a paladin or a, a shapeshifter druid or a caster druid, it really doesn't matter. Because the fact of the matter is, is every class likes to have more life, every class likes to have faster hit recovery, and every class can do with a little bit more physical damage reduction. Now granted, those characters that get in there and get beat up more often are going to want physical damage reduction more than a character who isn't. Like if you're a character that kites and usually hangs back, you don't necessarily need the physical damage reduction, but having it is certainly not going to hurt anything. Uh, on a sorceress specifically, and when you're teleporting around and you accidentally teleport into the middle of a pack of monsters, having a little bit of physical damage reduction is a pretty good thing. Trust me. Um, there's really not a lot to show off with this belt. I mean, it's just a really amazing belt. Um, I think what we need to do next is go take a look and see where we can find the belt, shall we? And uh, to do that, we're going to go over to Silos Pen, which is a fairly nice website for looking up uh, probabilities. And uh, it's what I've been doing so far. So we're going to look in uh, all difficulty settings, and we're going to go to Vardango's Articord. Uh, find. So we're going to pretend we have about 150% magic find. And as you can see here, not a lot of monsters that this drops from, mainly in Hell Difficulty. And, uh, and it's really from the, the big monsters. So we got Diablo, Bale, um, Mephisto in Hell, uh, Neolithak in Hell, Iswal in Hell, Radaman in Hell. Then it just gets worse and worse from there. Um, the Wretched Defilers, I talk about these all the time. They have a chance to drop like every item in the game in Worldstone Keep. So if you see the Wretched Defilers, the Putrid Defilers, the Fetid Defilers, just kill them. It's worth, it's worth it. Just kill them. They could very well drop pretty much any item in the game. So just give it a shot. Let's take a look at Super Uniques. And uh, Super Uniques, it looks like Neolithak is your best bet with 1 in 8,000. Um, we got a lot of, uh, of, of difficult ones here. Uh, Shank the Overseer can drop it. Uh, rather poor chance, but uh, he can. Doc Farron can drop it. Pindleskin can drop it. Uh, and uh, let's see, is Eldritch on this list? Eldritch is already on the list. Shank, Doc Farron, Pendleskin. What about uh, Thresh Socket? Yes, Thresh Socket. So it looks like a good combination to try and find this belt would be one of the easier combinations in the game, which is teleport down the um, the Herogroth siege area, kill Doc Farron. He's in the center of the siege area. Teleport up, kill Shank. He's at the end of the siege area. Uh, teleport up a little bit further past the waypoint and kill Eldritch, who uh, who also has a chance to drop this item, and then teleport a little bit further down the way and kill Thresh Socket. And then uh, go back to town real quick, kill Pindleskin, and you've got one Doc Farron, two Shank, three Eldritch, four Thresh Socket, five Pindleskin. That's five super uniques that you can farm in quick succession uh, that have a pretty decent chance of dropping a Verdungos for you. Uh, it's not bad at all. 
Uh, what more is there to say about this belt? It's just a really good belt. If you have one, you're probably going to use it. If you don't have one, you probably want it. And, uh, and quite honestly, there's a couple other options in the game that you could use, like String of Ears that has lifesteal. But for instance, the String of Ears with the lifesteal is not really the option that you probably want to use for a sorceress. Uh, you'd probably rather have this for a sorceress if you're going to use a physical damage reduction item. The variance on the physical damage reduction, by the way, is very sad. Um, it does vary between 10 to 15 percent. Um, so, you know, if you find one of these that's perfect, it's going to be 15 percent DR. Uh -huh, we don't care about the max stamina. 13 replenish life, 40 to vitality, and 140 percent enhanced defense. Uh, it does have one, two, three, four, five different variables on this. And of course, the base defense can vary as well. So, interesting. However, no matter which one of these you find, I feel like chances are, if you don't already have one of these, you'll be happy to have it. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, and uh, keep watching.